hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm vanessa given solis and if this is the first time that you're dropping by or maybe stopping by to hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you get to see videos like this anytime i post them in today's video you're going to be learning how to create an active potent carrot butter well this particular product was requested for and i decided to just come up with it so what you're seeing on the screen right now is the carrot butter a day after it was created so i'm just you know checking the rheology of this particular product that is i want to see how thick it is how it flows how good or how it glides okay so this is how it looks a day after it looks it has the color of um you know a carrot it and the most of it all we did not use any carrots in making this we basically used the advanced um, um components in carrots to make this okay now if you watch in the previous video where i said instead of you know infusing carrots for days why don't you just get the main components in the carrots like the better carotene oils or the better carotenes in the carrots or the vitamin a the retinol in the carrots so in this particular formula here we have retinol and we also have better carotene so um this was actually a swag test and let's get to it right now so what i have here is vitamin c okay this is um an oil soluble vitamin c as cobalt tetrasopiomitate and this is in its powder form and we're going to be using this and what is going into this right now is bht so bht is a powerful antioxidant that is really going to prevent um the ascorbyl tetrasopamitate from oxidizing so we're going in with an ester and with this ester is caprilo caprilo triglycerides this is going to the heat phase and we're going to use this to dissolve any solids that we may want to add inside the product so the next ingredient you're looking at right now is cocoa butter now cocoa butter has a higher melting point and this is why we're adding it to this particular phase right now and we also have beeswax beeswax is a solid material that is really going to help to thicken up the butter and we're adding it right here because we do need to melt it up before incorporating it inside our product and here is glyceryl steroids this is an anionic um emulsifier or surfactant here yeah. and we're adding it here because we want to reduce the rubbing time of this particular body butter and we don't want it to you know feel so solid in our hands and we also want to want to make sure it thickens up really nicely so we're going to heat those up right now using the double double boiling method and we're adding the vitamin c into that too at a certain degree so once it is all fully incorporated and melted it is quite hot at 60 degrees as you can see on the screen we are going to weigh out the share butter but before then you need to quickly cool this up okay if you don't speed cool it it will um grain it will turn grainy okay your result or the end product will be very much grainy and here is my shea butter and the other ingredients that we just the heat phase right now this is how it looks like i have tried speed cooling it speed cooling is the act of putting it in your freezer for a while or maybe you know just getting um, a cold water bath and doing that so i'm going to go further by cooling it down again because i still added it when it was a little bit mushy so i mix both the normal share butter we're not melting the share butter we're just going to leave the share butter as it is or, or else heat will destroy it so i have my retinol oil in here i have my beta carotene oil i'm going to be mixing it with the um the alpha tocopherol tocopherol is a powerful antioxidant too since we have a plant-based oil in this product which is the chamomile infused oil now you can decide to use alpha bisabolol that's the main ingredient in your chamomile but i decided to use the oil because i also wanted to use sunflower oil so i have mixed everything even with the dimethicone 
and I'm just going to pour everything right now so this step is optional if you don't want to use any fragrance it is fine it's better you don't use any fragrance at all but I did use carrot fragrance and I did use a little bit of food coloring you know to just make everything look aesthetically pleasing <laughs> so um, it may be much of a color right now yeah because it's still very much dense we have not allowed this to go iced and then whip it up very well so you have to cool it down again and maybe just put it in your fritz for about 20 minutes to go solid and then you need to blend again or you need to whip it so when you whip it most definitely just keep doing that it will go a little bit you know thicker but this is not the final viscosity or the final um, thickness of the product so I'm just going at it right now I'm just going to apply this on my skin to confirm that it's not soaping or whatever and it has a very 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 less rubbing time all right so you can add cornstarch or zaythan gum like I did in the formula you can do that if you want to reduce any greasiness if you're feeling that way and just turn it into your containers this is how it looks a day before and this is how it will look like after you may have you know um, solidified it and also whipped it up very well so it has a neutral tone and it is very buttery it is not like balm like or like gel like it is just like butter all right so here you go guys thank you so much for watching if you know you enjoy this video do all to drop your comments and do all to tell me what do you think should we go ahead and make a pineapple body butter bye <laughs>